I'm back. I want to say that I'm back and better, but I'm not back. And well, I am back, but I am not necessarily better. So, sorry, I'm just doing my vacuum. I have the shark um, robot vacuum and I forget all the time to turn it on when I leave my house. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll put the vacuum on when I'm gone. I forgot, so I'm doing the entire house. You can see like our whole home. I hit clean, start cleaning, and it just goes. Uh, not sponsored by Shark, but this is a great vacuum for people like me who don't really like to vacuum, never like to vacuum. So anyways, I am back. I have been away for quite some time and not away in like real life, just away from YouTube. It has been a trying month. Is that the theme of my life? I'm really, I'm actually committing to changing this. I'm actually looking for a personal coach. I'm doing some interviewing for personal coaches and people like that to help me get back on track because I think I've done what I know to do, but I really need some like accountability and guidance to get back on track in life. Um, but yes, I have been away. Michael was in the hospital last week and this week has been a bit of a busy week because I've been trying to get back to cooking, cleaning, work, life, and I've had a migraine all week and I have a migraine today. You probably can't tell, but I know when I look at myself, like if I see a photo or a video, I can tell based on my eyes that I have a migraine. So I still look cute because I'm wearing a sweater <laughs> that brings out my eyes. Anyway, so instead of staying home and dealing with the migraine, which is what I've been doing the past couple of days and it hasn't worked, I'm doing the things that I know help me even though I don't want to do them. So I'm going to the gym. First step, I'm going to the gym. I'm getting some natural endorphins and I'm just going to do some weightlifting. I'm not doing like anything high intensity, so it's not going to affect my head quite as much. It's more or less just like getting there, showing up for myself, putting in the work, and feeling better. And then my gym that I go to is at Soho House. So I'm gonna stay at Soho House and do some work, which is also good because I can remove myself from my house and actually focus on some work. So as you know, I can't take you into Soho House, but I'm gonna show you all the other things that I'm doing today that I don't really wanna do. So I have some errands that I've been putting off that I'm gonna do after and some other things, but this is what I do when I'm kind of in a bad cycle and I feel like I need to get back into my groove. And yes, I've been doing the resting thing and sometimes resting really works, but sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes we use resting as an excuse to avoid doing things. And I know I'm one of those people at times. So I'm no longer avoiding things. I'm gonna go do what I need to do, put on a podcast and hit the road and get some endorphins fingers crossed it does like wonders for my head so let's go back in the car Soho was great I got a lot done the endorphins were so good I also went and got a matcha because Soho houses matcha is kind of iffy so I went to Maru which is like right across the street from Soho house it's like my favorite matcha in LA so if you're in LA Highly recommend Maru. There's one in Los Feliz, one downtown LA, and I think they just opened one in Beverly Hills. So this is my pick-me-up <laughs> treat, which if you follow me on TikTok, bought a matcha yesterday, bought a matcha today, probably gonna buy a matcha tomorrow. It's that thing where it's like, I deserve a treat, but yet every day feels like another treat. Either way, I'm drinking the matcha. I'm gonna go do some errands, and now you get to come with me because there's no rules around photo and video where I'm going. So here we go off to feel a little bit better about getting my life in check and organized. And all I can say is sometimes you got to do the hard things, the things you don't want to do because they make you feel better. So cheers to that. finished my errands as you saw I went to Air One. it was so busy so um, it took a lot longer and then traffic coming home was insane I guess what people say about LA traffic is very real um, Michael made us bolognese while I was out so I'm just gonna prepare our pasta we do separate pastas because he doesn't need to eat gluten-free so he has his own pasta and then I have my gluten-free pasta so I'm gonna prepare that and have a nice dinner and do a little bit of work and gotta hang out, so hopefully it's delicious. My pasta. 
And Michael's pasta. Mm -hmm. So delicious. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful bolognese. Okay, it's bedtime and I am honestly so excited to go to bed and have a fresh day tomorrow. It's also Friday, so that feels pretty good. I had a very productive evening. I'm using my Shiseido Ultimoon. I can never say it, Ultimune Power Infusing Serum. I restocked this on the Sephora sale. Um, so yeah, I had a very productive evening. Obviously you saw dinner, and then I did some work afterwards, which felt great to get some work done that I had kind of just been putting off and I was listening to a podcast while I was working, so that was kind of nice. And, you know, it wasn't a great day, but it wasn't a terrible day. And I think that is the takeaway is um, sometimes it starts bad and then other times it, uh, it starts good and it can go up and down. But today was, you know, a day that I had to focus on connecting with myself and doing the things that maybe I didn't want to do but I knew would be good for me. So I had a really good dinner. I cleaned up, the dishwasher is running, laundry has been done today, I just cleaned the bathroom also. I didn't show you because I don't think it's really that exciting for you to see me like cleaning the bathroom. But those are the things that I did that I maybe didn't want to do because realistically they're not fun, but it feels good to have them done. And then going to the gym honestly was so good because the endorphins are great, honestly. I highly recommend moving whether it's a walk or a yoga flow even just stretching something when you're having a bad day because the best way to feel better is natural endorphins i just put on my new night cream this is the dr dennis gross feels weird that it says gross dr dennis gross intense wrinkle cream because she's 32 and she's getting wrinkles um no but i also was talking to someone at sephora and they recommended this over the tatcha dewy rice like night cream because the Tatcha has I guess perfume or scents in it and that can help or that can be why your skin dries out and I have very dry skin so I just got this I've been using it I will report back in like two weeks to see if it makes a difference I don't know if these like anti-wrinkle things actually make a difference but as long as my skin feels hydrated and fresh in the morning that's what I go for so yes Highly recommend going out for walk, movement, things like that to get endorphins when you're having a bad day. And also just remember, it's a bad day. It's not a bad life. That goes to Malika, who, if you haven't listened to this Good Work podcast, myself and Malika have that podcast together. New episodes every Wednesday. Linked below in the description. Highly recommend listening to it because she reminds me of that often enough when I'm like, what is going on? Why do I feel this way? So... That's what I'm manifesting and I'm going to read a bit before bed and fold laundry so that I have one less thing to do tomorrow. Again, doing the things I don't want to do, but doing them because I know it's going to help me. Okay, bedtime. It is Friday and we're doing it right because, well, it's already Friday afternoon and there is back-to-back -back basketball games. I am so excited because if Miami wins tonight, they go to the next round. If the Lakers win tonight, they go to the next round. So we are picking up burgers from our favorite place, Gold Burger, here in Los Feliz, and I'm gonna watch the game. I think Michael still may have work to do, but I'm gonna watch both games back to back. It has been a pretty productive day, considering it's Friday, so worked, got a lot done, cleaned out my inbox-ish, which always feels good, and I did mess up, though. I made a beautiful breakfast, and I did not take a video of it for you, so I'll put a photo you can see the photo here is of the breakfast. Um, it's a new recipe that I'm making up and trying. It was delicious. I was still hungry all day, but it was delicious and I feel like I got the nutrients that I needed. So now having a burger kind of all balances out. Good morning. It's Saturday and I went to bed pretty, well, no, early for like a Friday night. I wasn't, I was sleeping around like 11, 11.30. I slept in ish, it's like eight now. So it's like a good, good almost nine hours. And it's hair wash day. So I'm putting it up for now because I'm gonna go to the gym in a little bit. I'll wash it after the gym because it's gonna get sweaty from the gym. 
And as you can see, my face is so swollen in the morning these days. I don't know what it is. If someone knows why your face looks swollen in the morning, please let me know. So I'm gonna do my Saturday eye masks. I like to do this just on weekends when I have a bit more time for myself. I'm using the Peter Thomas Roth ones. I got these as a gift. Um, it's like they have so many in the package, so it's nice to not have to always like restock eye masks. I also learned I was doing them the wrong way before. You're supposed to do it so like the, the thick bit is back here. I think it helps more getting fluid up into your, like the corners that helps it actually, oh wow, it's like right in there. <laughs> it's supposed to like draw fluid up here and then it goes down, obviously. So well, let's see, let's see if that's, if that's the thing for me today. I'm also, at some point, I'm gonna share this email my friend Leah, she does like, I think bi-weekly, you know, twice a week, weekly emails, sometimes twice a week emails, of just like her thoughts. She's a writer, she's phenomenal. So I'm gonna share something that she emailed all of us who subscribed to her yesterday because it like really connected with me. I don't have my phone on me right now. I've put it somewhere and I don't know where, but that's fine. So I'm gonna share that with you today because it was like really, it really connected with me. But I was like, no, I don't need to have coffee right away. That's not a priority, but it's so good to start your day with a little coffee so i'm gonna make a coffee and it's a beautiful day as you can tell the sun is streaming in let's see if i can get decent lighting yeah so i'm just gonna make i think i'm gonna make an americano i went to espresso the other week and stocked up i i've been drinking a lot of like decaf coffees drinking myself but um when michael was in the hospital i really needed that caffeine so now i'm like I'm back to it. I love the little kick. So I'm I'm gonna have this is the Dolce from Nespresso. So I'm gonna do an Americano with this. Nespresso is made. Hot water and just that's the simple coffee. I forgot how good an Americano is. I just I love it. I'm gonna put a little bit of almond milk in it. Perfect. I'm also reading this really good book. Um, I'll show you, but I'm gonna go sit in bed and read and have my coffee, which is like so special. Okay, this is the book that I'm reading. Um, wrong Place, a Wrong Time by Jillian McAllister. So far, phenomenal, I'm about 44% through. So let's see how far I can get today. Live from LA traffic, KPC LA. <laughs> We are in traffic in LA. What what a surprise. But we have had a very lovely day. And like I said, I went to the gym, so that's been good. Um, did upper body workout today, which is different because I usually do lower body when I'm at the gym and I just do upper body at home. So switching it up. And then we decided to stay and have dinner at Soho House, which was lovely. So it was a little spontaneous afternoon and it's a beautiful day and we're in the car and I didn't update you that Miami Heat won last night. So it was a very fun night watching basketball. Great way to spend my Friday night. And then the Lakers also won. So basketball is still going off for me. Lots to watch and I do have some work to do. So that is the next thing that's happening today is we're, when we get home after this traffic, we both have a bit of work to do and it feels like, I mean, I don't really want to do work, I'm gonna be honest with you, because I had such a lovely day that I want to keep this like fun Saturday feeling going, but I'm glad that I had such a good day so that doing a little bit of work doesn't feel as bad. And then tomorrow I'll have less work to do, so it'll feel even better tomorrow when I wake up and I won't have to wake up being stressed about it. So the main thing is we had a good day and hopefully we can also watch next level chef when we get home that is something that we have not caught up on and i think the finale has been aired so we need to see who the season's winner is hello everyone welcome back to another week i know i say this every week but i am always excited to be here i think this is personally a very good time for me because i get to be a little bit more connected with myself i feel very connected to you even though i can't see you but i feel 
you listening, I feel you with me. finally washed my hair it took me a little bit longer than I expected just because last night I didn't want to wash it right before bed because I wouldn't have time to dry it so it is fresh and clean and I used my shampoo and conditioner bars I think I've mentioned this before but if I haven't they're from the earthling co and hands down the best like natural shampoo and conditioner I've literally ever used and they're the actual bars which I never thought would work for especially thick hair like mine but I am obsessed my hair has never felt so good especially just because I only wash it like once a week so sometimes I feel like I really have to get in there and wash it I always shampoo twice but the conditioner and the shampoo both like feel like normal not clean products like I know a lot of times when you use like clean shampoo it doesn't like foam and become like sudsy but this definitely does and I highly recommend it there's a lot of different scents and they have a lot of other great products so I'll put them below in the description this is not sponsored this is because I truly truly like them and as you saw I had a very lovely afternoon I went for like the longest walk I think it was like an hour and a half walk and sat at the park and read my book which I'm still dying to finish because it is really good it is it is a crazy like concept so basically the book is it starts with like a crime that happens and then the rest of the book is going back in time for one of the main characters to try to identify why this crime happened or like how to stop it i'm still not sure but highly recommend it again i'll put that below because it's a good read and i know a lot of you like to read and now i'm going to do my sunday activities i'm going to unwind a little bit about to have dinner I want to clean up the kitchen do my laundry's done but I need to fold it and put it away just sort of like things like that and then I need to look at my schedule for this week and just make sure that I have put in enough time for myself because I know it's a busy week just because I'm still getting caught up on something so I need to review what my schedule is and just feel prepared going into the week but my whole goal this week and let's see Hold me accountable let's see if this can actually happen is to go to bed around like 10 10 30 and get up around 6 6 30. right now i get up around like 7 7 30 which is still like a good time but i feel like it's not giving me enough time before my day starts and i really want to have me time before i get into doing a lot of the things that i do which is kind of giving out to other people and leading people leading not only myself but businesses and consulting and podcasts and like so many things that it's like exerting energy and I feel like I'm not giving myself enough time at the beginning of the day just for me if, right now a lot of like the time that I spend on myself is in the evening which is lovely but it just doesn't feel like my cup is full at the beginning of the day if that makes sense so that's the goal for this week and hopefully Fingers crossed, it works. I mean, the sun is up earlier, so that has already been helpful. I've been kind of waking up around 6.30 naturally this past week, but I want to actually get up when I wake up. Like wake up, get up, go outside, get some sun or like a glow of the sky in my eyes and just start the day that way. So that's the goal for this week. And the past couple of days have been pretty nice, I hope. I hope you've enjoyed watching them. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. If there's anything you wanna see in my day-to-day -day life, I know I owe a health update, so I'm gonna film that this week because I haven't done a health update since January. So there's some things that have changed since January, which is good. So I'm gonna do that this week, but if there's anything else you wanna see from me on my little baby channel, I would love to know what you're looking to learn or grow or understand about, just sort of like day-to-day -day life, whether it's entrepreneurship or dealing with chronic pain or just like life in general please please let me know and if you haven't subscribed this obviously would be the time to subscribe love you guys bye